Hi everybody, it's me Maria with Nail Nation and Nail Nation 3000. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on my nail o lantern nail, which is just a Halloween jack-o-lantern pattern, um, but it's kind of a reverse from what you might be used to seeing. Um, usually pumpkin nails are basically orange and then there's the face painted on. Um, but I kind of came up with, um, about two years ago, this um, nail design where it's the face of the pumpkin over black and um, I managed to get it to look very much like there's a candle inside and it kind of glows and it's sort of a day glow so I wanted to show you guys how to do it it's really really simple um, I'm gonna show you on um, a couple of nails so you'll see where it will jump and some of them will already be done but what you're going to need to start with is a really nice basic black. Um, I really recommend um, the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear um, Blackout or Black on Black by Sinful is a really good one as well. Um, you want it to be a little bit of a thicker black that's kind of a one coat. And they dry better and set better and these don't really chip much at all. So um, this is a good inexpensive black to use. You want to start with a base coat or a nail strengthener, depending on if you're using acrylics or if you have regular um, natural nails. You put um, a really good fully covered coat. For some of you, that'll be two coats, but this is just one of the Sally Hansen. You will need these things. Um, you can use a midgy pen to draw the face, which I'm going to show you today because that really saves a lot of time. However, you can use a striper if you have gotten really good with that, or you can use a dotting tool and a brush to just create the pattern and then fill it in. And you're going to need the little brush anyway for your yellow that you're going to use for the lights in the eyes and mouth. Um, and this is actually um, Celtic Sun Neon by China Glaze. And this is Art Club Bronze, and I have no idea why they call it bronze, because it's really kind of a 24 karat gold. But um, this is what I use today. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you with a larger drawing first. You're going to draw a triangle. You're going to go about halfway down on the other side. You're going to come about two-thirds of the way here. And then you're going to create a circle. So your eye is going to look like this. And then you're going to do that again right next to it. And on your nails, mind you, this is going to be smaller. So if you need to practice with whatever tool you're using, um, paper is a great way to do it. So here's our eyes. Now the nose is basically the reverse without the little circle in the center without the half moon shape. Your smile is going to start right about parallel just past where the edge of the eyes are and you can put your teeth in different places on the pumpkin so this one I'm going to do this way so it's just a few lines And you just want to kind of make it just like you would if you were carving a pumpkin. Um, you want to make the teeth and stuff kind of line up the way you would if you were drawing a pumpkin um, face on one. So this is just a basic idea of what we'll be doing on the nail. We will be using white um, as our negative on here so that you can see. So do like these eyes that kind of look scared or happy crescent moons and you could make him frown like this you know whatever your comfort level is for um, the designs and you can play with them and see because you may have a hard time with one and be really really good at the other so these are just some a couple of references we're going to be doing one that's very similar to this Okay, so I have done the pumpkin face here on these four nails using the midi pen. I'm going to do it now um, on camera on my thumb because it's a little bigger and it's easier to see. Because this one's a little difficult to do the smaller nails on camera um, 
at that angle where you would be able to see it. So this is what we're going for. So this is what we're going for here. Um, and the teeth can be changed up too. And if you mess something up with the teeth, you can always go back and let it set and go back and add black and you can add the teeth back in. So it's really no problem. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm just going to show you a little trick because it's easier for you to see it on my thumbnail is make these these patterns here half of a triangle just kind of make them parallel to one another if they're a little off it's really no big deal because all you have to do is go in like this because you're gonna fill all that in anyway and then you're gonna come down like this about halfway just wanted to give you a simple way to do it on the nail and you can do this with your dotting tool too it just it just takes a couple extra little dots to get it in there and then you're gonna do a half moon on both and then you're just gonna fill it in and if you're using a brush as well this is when you might want to use your brush just to fill in the triangle Mistakes are fairly easy to correct too because with black and white um, you just let it set or you can erase it with a q-tip and go back and touch it up with black or the white whichever you need to use to fix it. And just make sure you have a little little exaggeration there. See and now we have the eyes just like this and then the nose is really really super simple it's just an upside down triangle. just like that and like I said if anything's off you can always go back and just kind of touch it up and your lines don't have to be super smooth because we're gonna outline this with the gold anyway so it's okay if it's just a little you know a little bit smudgy when you're doing it and then we're gonna do the mouth and you're gonna go in like it, it's an extreme curve and then you're gonna drop down where your teeth are gonna be Coming all the way back up. And then just make a little square there for another tooth. And make your lines meet and then just come back in with your striper or your little brush or your dotting tool, whatever you may be using. And you're just gonna fill in the white all the way around the area there and you see here how my nose is just a touch close to um, the mouth I can go back with black and just kind of erase a little bit and I can make my teeth a little bigger if I want see you can do that here too just go in like a square and just generously add some and then my teeth are bigger see so you can always go in and do little repairs um, <clears throat> with a toothpick with a dotting tool whatever you're comfortable with I like to use the midgy pins on camera um, also just so that you can kind of get a feel for the lines because Sometimes when I'm using the other tool, I'm a little bit more turned towards me, so it would be a little harder for you to see. Once you get the lines down, it's really pretty simple. You're going to take a fine tip brush, something like this one, and you're going to take your yellow. Um, any neon yellow works, but make sure it's day glow, that it's super, super bright. I highly recommend this. Um, the, this right here is the Celtic Sun. Um, and it, it specifically says neon. Normally I wouldn't put quite this much out, but because we're going over it 
possibly more than once. I want to make sure that there's plenty. And I'm going to show you on the paper real quick exactly what I'm doing on the nail. So we're going to take our little brush and we've already filled this in with the white polish on our nails and you're going to take really pretty liberal amounts. It's going to kind of be like this, like a drop and you're going to take it and you're just going to fill in very carefully our white areas without getting it on the black and you just kind of want to pull it around. I'll do the mouth first here just so you can kind of get a real look at that. This really, um, even for a beginner, um, once you have your face painted on, this step here should only take you about one to three minutes for your hand, for the entire hand, um, because it's really super simple. If it's taking you longer than that, uh, you may be applying it too thin. Okay, so there we go. We have our lights in our nail o lanterns faces. So I'm just going to show you on the thumb, and then I'm going to go off camera and go ahead and take care of the rest of the hand so that I can show you um, the finished result. So you're going to take your gold striper, and you're really basically just going to outline very carefully the face that you have created for your pumpkin. And this is the part you really want to try to take the time on to um, get it as smooth as possible um, because this is going to define your pumpkin's face. So you really don't want this to be smudged or anything if you can avoid it. This will be the part that probably takes you the longest. And it's better to go a little too thin and then kind of go back over it if you have to than it is to actually have way too much polish on there because you would have to start all the way over. And see, I got a tiny bit of yellow on my black under the tooth there, but I can take a small drop of black and take care of that when we're done. And this is just kind of a fun pattern. You can put other things on your other nails. Um, I get a lot of compliments with the little faces though. It's kind of dramatic when it stands off the nail that way. So here where I had just a tiny bit of yellow or if you were to get gold in there or something, you just take it and put a tiny little drop there and it just defines his face a little bit. You can see that. Okay, so now that we have completed all of the details on our jack-o-lantern, nail-o-lantern nails, we're simply Thanks gonna so add. Much. It also stays on um, a lot longer and holds up its shine and it doesn't turn yellow. So these are some of the pros is to why it's worth the money or if you have something similar to it where you are